Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a movie review this week called Hit and Run, which stars Dex Shepard, who wrote and co-directed this film, Christian Bell, Bradley Cooper, Tom Arnold, Christian Chenoweth, and Michael Rosenbaum. The movie begins as Charlie and his girlfriend, Annie, were, were at an old house in Podoc, California. Annie has just been announced that, that she has a new job in LA. The problem is though is that Charlie doesn't want her to leave so he's, he decided not to take her along the ride until later on. Which leads into a bigger problem that Annie's ex-boyfriend Gil, played by Michael Rosenbaum, has, has had a uh, was afraid that not only what Andy would be riding with Charlie all the way to uh, LA, but he was going to be attacked by him as well. Like he was some kind of a serial killer. So prior to this, Gil just contacted uh, on his Facebook uh, page uh, Alex, who is Charlie's former best friend, in which Charlie's real name turned out to be Yul Perkins. He uses that name as part of a bank robbery scheme back a few years ago but it leads into bigger trouble when when it becomes a hit and run um, all the way across California just to just to go after Charlie and so on and so forth it just becomes a big misunderstanding this has to be one of the strangest comedies I've ever seen in my life there was a lot of uh, crazy scenes that I just couldn't believe it was going through. Like for instance, when Tom Arnold was driving his SUV, uh, he forgot to park, stop the brakes, and it just keeps going all around. And he's he's using his gun to to stop the car, and and then it's been going on, and it was happening again during the middle of the scene when when he ran over them out of nowhere but it started to get really old real fast and then the hotel scene which I know a lot of people are familiar with um, from seeing that the TV spots of this movie is when is when an elderly couple was having a party in in that room all filled with all wearing nothing but uh, underwear but in the movie of course they were nude this is basically just a trend in today's generation in order to hide the nudity in, in this movie for them to see it for themselves that it's one of the stupidest trends I've seen in, in movies and it really needs to stop also there were a lot of dumb scenes as well including the scene where Alex played by Bradley Cooper was was giving a, uh, a tall black man some dog food because of because the way he's feeding his dog and, th and then he also steals his dog as well I was wondering myself what was that all about it was just stupid it had some funny moments in this movie but it didn't cut it for me it's not in the same league as, as films like The Hangover or any other film that came out from that generation and it's just too much to take so I had to give Hit and Run a measly two stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.